I think some of the biggest national security threats that government's facing at the moment are related, obviously, around the cyber world. Um, they're uh, online, they're uh, uh, outside, they're, they can be anonymous, uh, they can be using technology in a way that, you know, technology itself is agnostic. It can be used for good, but equally things like anonymization and encryption can be used to disrupt and, and challenge. Uh, we've heard at the conference around a number of excellent speakers. Um, the AFP talk around online criminal gangs uh, gave an indication of the extent of uh, how much activity can take place. Um, and so you know, there's on a, uh, a sort of criminal gang and you state nations as well. Um, so so from, from the world I live in, uh, within AU Cloud, where we're looking at uh, sort of supporting and defending government's data, uh, yeah, those are some of the, the key considerations we, t we take on board. So AU Cloud helps government overcome some of the security challenges that they're facing uh, in some ways by providing uh, compute and storage uh, infrastructure as a service to support their data security. Uh, in a more sort of specific way, uh, we provide a technology called cyber threat monitoring uh, where we uh, use some of the uh, best technology around the world and some excellent tradecraft from our team uh, to ensure that any uh, cyber risks are mitigated um, and uh, defended. Uh, we provide a service to the, for example, the electoral, uh, Australian Electoral Commission uh, to protect the election uh, from any sort of activities that will inevitably happen around that. Uh, but even in a more basic way, we, we support um, defending data through some simple things like backing up, backing up Microsoft 365 systems or providing immutable storage to put your crown jewels data beyond a ransomware attack so that if you do get compromised that actually you've got a source data set to go back to to recover from. So some of the most transformational uh, trends that we're seeing in national security uh, from an AU Cloud perspective, um, there's lots of shiny, baubly technologies always coming out all the time, but actually some of them are the, just the most basic. Uh, from, from our perspective, I'd say uh, transitioning old legacy applications that are quite challenging to maintain security around and moving those onto a cloud infrastructure as a service platform. That, that in itself is, a, is quite a transformational. We've, uh, through with DXC, uh, we've supported the transformation of the um, Australian Defence Forces digital e-health system. Uh, so that's no longer on, on a premise, that's on a cloud platform. And that then, we're able to support that with a whole set of array of tools and, and, and risk mitigations. Um, at the other side of this sort of um, uh, continuum, uh, we're seeing you know, new applications that are being developed are actually inherently cloud native from the get-go. And, and those are being built with uh, APIs, containerized microservices that can be supported by uh, the best levels of um, digital technologies, whether that's quantum encryption, uh, whether that's um, the likes of um, processes around it to, to ensure that the data is automatically backed up. Uh, so, so that's that's the sort of very parochial AU cloud perspective on transformation. Uh, on a personal level, uh, it's really important uh, to attend events uh, like today. Um, we've, we, we are not only allowed to, I mean, it's particularly unusual at the moment. It's one of the first events uh, I've attended in, in a long time. Um, I've actually just arrived back from the UK and uh, it's great to see the UK and the, the, the sort of a little bit further ahead in terms of opening up. So the networking potential, that, that, that you know, just the smiles on people's faces from meeting each other is amazing. Um, but on a, on a more kind of uh, practical level, uh, the level of professional networking that you get, the, um, the insights that you get from uh, the speakers and their stories and the narratives of the uh, experiences that they face, whether that's from you know, commanding sort of COVID recovery, uh, to a panel about learnings around how working together during COVID has improved and, and government has taken a massive step forward in that. Uh, or through you know, some of the uh, vendors who are, who are, who are help, uh, identifying how their uh, technologies and their, their services that they deliver are, are helping government.